Hey guys, April Marie Tucker here from AprilMarieTucker.com and I just was actually editing a video for today's post and I thought, hey, you know what? I should show people how I make my images clickable within YouTube. So I was actually going to be two parts of this video and I'll put them together, put the other part together once we upload this video, but this part's actually pretty easy. If you are using Camtasia, if you're using Windows Media Player, whatever it is that you're using, you can usually just import any type of image that you'd like. Um, you know, for example, I've got right here, I've got a banner right here that I just went ahead and imported right into Camtasia. And then I just slid it right into here. So I would just go right that. And then you can see right here, I've got an image. Now I can adjust this image however it is that I want. Right? Like that. And then if I really, really want to, what I could do is I can double click on that and I can pull out some callouts. Now I normally like to, I like, I like to add callouts. So, and they're actually really, really easy to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on add callout. And then um, I need to actually, let's see here, I need to flip it. Let's see if I can, there we go, horizontal, I'll flip it. And then what you can do is you can add different callouts. This is, my callout's actually going to be, uh, here's, learn more about MLSP. Here. Okay, uh, click here. Or maybe I'll put, I know what I'll put. I'm going to put click. I usually put like an arrow because I, I just find that it's easier to make <laughs> make it stand out, like tell good people a very exact call to action. Uh, makes it easier on your viewers, but also makes it easier on yourself too. So that's really all there is to adding it with Camtasia. Now, if you're using something else, that might be um, a little bit different for you. I'm actually going to pull this right to here because I'm going to remove that one because that's where my call out goes. And then once you've done that, you should, you can just go ahead and play it and you can watch um, how this works here. These are actually keywords that I'm actually ranked for currently on the first page of Google. There you go. So I'm going to move that right there. We're searching for them. So what I do is I create content. And then once you've done that, what you'll do is you'll produce and share it. And then we'll, we'll upload it to YouTube. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like when we when I come right back here after I'm done upload, uploading this. See you in a few. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. And uh, before we just showed you how to add, you know, your images and all of these things. And what I want to show you is how to make them clickable in YouTube now. Now, this is actually pretty important. This is an, actually a very important step. Um, with your YouTube channel, you want to make sure that your website right here is your channel website. So basically, it's your recognized website because what's going to happen is, is like when I go and I make it an annotation here by just creating a spotlight and then adding a link, it's going to ask for an associated website. So right here, you want to make sure that you have your website, preferably your blog, because you're going to need to install pretty links to your blog to be able to make this work. So um, let me just show you really quick how to add your website in case you don't know. You'll just want to make sure that you go, because um, this would be your home right here, and then this is what you'll see. So go to your channel, and then go ahead and click on About. And then what you'll want to do is right here there's a little editing tab thing right here okay so you click on that little pen there and then you'll want to just basically uh, make sure this box right here is checked and then put your aprilmarietucker.com for whatever your website is it's, mine is aprilmarietucker.com and then put your http so whatever it is that you want it to show up as okay so if you want it to show up actually I'm gonna make it mine look a little bit nicer sometimes I I catch things like this and during trainings and I just make them a little nicer and then just go ahead and click on done. Now the cool thing is, is that you can add all kinds of websites here. You know, you want to make sure that you add your Google Plus, your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Twitter, and all that good stuff so that people can find you very, very easy. So I'm going to click on done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install pretty links onto our blog. All right, so hopefully you're a blogger. If you do not know how to set up a blog, then I highly encourage you to get MLSP, learn how to set up a blog, learn how to set this stuff up, 
So that way, you know, you're able to position yourself so that to make money on the internet, basically. That's what it does. So you'll want to just click on add a pretty link um, for whatever it is that you're going to share. For this example, I'm actually sharing live the dream. So I already have one and I'm just, you know, you'll want to click on add pretty link. It's really, really easy. You can just paste the link right in here and then make it something really fancy so you remember what it is. Mine is Live the Dream. Once you've done that, you'll be able to create it and now you've got a pretty link. So you've got a link that's actually masked. Now this won't work if I were to put, you know, MLSP.com in there or something else because it's not an associated website. So as long as it's an associated website, you can um, use these and that's why pretty link is very important because this is um, going to forward mask it into AprilMarieTucker.com and then just, you know, forward slash whatever it is that I want, but it's basically going to forward mask it. Really, really simple to do there. So you'll want to make sure that you do that. Now, once you've done that and you have your link, whatever it is that you want to point and direct to. Now, this is really cool because when you're doing any type of call to action or anything like that, you want to make sure that you put like an image in there like I showed you with Pinnacle. And once you do that, like you want to put it like a snazzy little cool little banner or whatever in there. Once you do that, once you upload it, it will show up. Now this is a lot of timing, so I'm just going to try to, to save time, I'm going to try to find this really quick so I can show you my image here because it's towards the end. Okay, there it is. So that's my image right there and hopefully you can see that really good. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, see if you guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. So I'll just zoom that in. And you can see right here, I've got get your live the dream tickets, click here. So there's my nice little fancy image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a spotlight. Okay. Now once I add the spotlight, I'm just going to go ahead and make this box fit really nice and neat right across my screen here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that people can actually click the YouTube video to go to your offer. Like I said, mine is live the dream, so I had to forward mask it because it's an affiliate link. I had to forward mask it with um, pretty links. All right, so I'm gonna actually just go ahead and put the link in here now. This is my pretty link that I've already created. Okay, for live the dream. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there. And you'd be able to preview the link as well, so you just make sure that that link works. Everything looks good. Yep, everything's grand. The research and the re I'm gonna pause that out. And then what you want to do is just adjust the time. Now this is actually gonna go all the way to almost the end. It's about to my intro, and um, I'm actually gonna make it just a little bit more like that. That way I can see. Yeah, so that's good. Perfect. So now I've just adjusted the link to make sure that it shows up. Now once it's adjusted and everything's good, now what you'll want to do is just go ahead and click on publish. Okay, and now you'll be able to see that it's actually really, really cool. You'll be able to see right here when I fast forward to about 12 minutes, I think it is. No, a little bit further. There it is. So now you see I've got a clickable image right here. So all you have to do is, like I'm telling people, buy the Live the Dream tickets. I mean, this is on my blog. <clears throat> this turns out really, really nice because all they have to do is say, okay, cool, I'll buy the tickets. Bam, takes them right over to my site. They can click it right into the image, right into the video itself. So it's really, really powerful tool and way for you to, you know, make more commissions and make more sales. And if you ever wondered how I was doing that, well, now you know. And it's just as easy as that. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below this video. If you need any help or anything like that, I'll be sure to answer. And also, do me a favor. If you had, if you got any value from this video, do me a favor. Just click share, comment, leave all the good loving. I love the loving. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this today. And I will see you guys around YouTube creating awesome videos with these clickable images and making more money. See you around. Bye.